Hello there guys and welcome to episode 4 of this Pokemon LP. Randomizer LP actually. But uh, yeah, in the last episode, I wasn't walking in squares. I was actually, I nearly died to a Volcarona and we fought Trainer N. Which is the most creative name I've heard in several years. But we are just going to heal up quickly. Our one lonely Pokemon, as Bianca calls it at the moment. That's close to the mic there. Yeah, thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Where? Hope we hope to see you again. All right, let's go. Any Pokemon good to actually kill? What's in here? Let us go find out what's in here. Oh, Sharon, hello. When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it is in battle. Oh, hey, Speed Space. <laughs> Have you gone looking for the gym leader? Yes. He was here talking about Pokemon types just until just a few moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, Sea Space, will you have a battle with me? Just so important, my. Alright, oh, go on then. Or maybe I should test them as well as I can't battle without items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without letting get too rough. Do you know what jingle we need for this, guys? Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Yeah, let's stop that jingle, though. He's what out. Tepig. Oh my god, it. His Pokemon are a lot more highly leveled, so let's just go straight for a low kick because, of course, Tepic is not a fighting type at this point, and it still did absolutely nothing. Ugh. Sucks. Sucks like an Electrolux, you know what I'm saying? Tepic fainted. That Tepic sucks. Like an Electrolux, I don't think that make joke makes me cool in the slightest, but I got Perloin next up, and it is important to choose when you're put Pokemon when your item holds. Now, I can't use Faint Attack because then it wouldn't work, so yeah, let's just low kick and kill it in one hit. Thank you, and goodbye. Sea Space got 800 for winning. Okay, cool. So, learning to use items well is definitely important then. Oh, here's Sea Space, I'll give you these berries. Oran berries. I don't know. We'll probably only get five. If we give a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it will eat it to heal up when its HP goes down in battle. Okay, cool. But if you guys give Pokemon, but if you guys, but if you give Pokemon man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use them. Well, good luck then. Okay, bye. <laughs> he kills conversations quicker than Mortal Kombat fatalities happen. Hello. Yes, I'm a gym leader's son. You are right. You want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Snowy. I see. It's weak against fire type Pokemon. It's actually Scraggy. You don't know that, though. I think you need to prepare to face that type. For example, try training your Pokemon in a dream yard. Please excuse me now. So, we might as well go dream yard then, because he said train it in the dream yard then. So, let's go. Dream yard. It's got sci fi music. Sick. We we are training here. Now let's train Pokemon together. <laughs> well done. We are a we. Last Eddie. Last Eddie set up Purloin. So this will be the same generic Pokemon. Patrat, Lillipop, or Purloin. Because that's how it goes in this series. Uh yeah, low kick. Let's go. It's super effective. I know it is. Bruce Lee gained 94 EXP. My Pokemon is leveling up so quickly. You have no idea. Low kick. Same as usual. Same regime. There we are. Kill it. Death. 94 again. And if you Lasseri. Great. You have a talent as a trainer. I got 128 for that battle. Sick. And it's a guy here who thinks my goal is to outperform gym leaders. Can you win against me? Well, obviously, but I mean, there's, there's no pretending I can't because I obviously can, but you know. You are challenged by Youngster Joey. Youngster Joey sent out Patrat. Yeah, what'd I say? Say generic Pokemon's always. <sighs> Level 7. Mm. It's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Fainted 67. 
Again, another pat trap. Like, honestly. Low kick. Or falcon kick. Nah, falcon kick has fire, though. But then that's fire punch, so that'd be falcon punch. I need a Darmanitan to do that. Or an Infernape. Youngster Joey sent out Lillipop. Okay, cool. Low kick. Death. No? Oh, yeah, because Lillipop's a lot lighter than Patrat and Purloin is. Uh, it's the only reason he doesn't die. What a scrub. Just Headbutt. Because Headbutt does everything. Apart from all ghost types. And all fighting types, I believe. Then it doesn't work very well. Yeah. My Pokemon fought well, didn't they? C Space got 112 for winning. Cool. What's this girl got? Hey, hey, you! What was the first Pokemon you received? Scraggy, really? That then Pampor could be a big help. Well, Snivy, technically. Your Scraggy does not do well against Fire type Pokemon. Are you sure? Hang on, let me go check. Well, um, uh, I've just checked, and um, she is uh, completely wrong. So I'll just go and say, do you want this Pampor of mine? All right. I need another Pokemon. I mean, let's be honest, my Scraggy needs a friend. See space received Panpaw. Give a nickname to the Panpaw you received. Alright, give me a minute. Boom! I used all my letters, and my Panpaw is the Talibanta. Yeah, let's go. If you have many types of Pokemon, something will work out no matter what kind of Pokemon you have to face. That's why I need specific Pokemon in my series. So, yeah, I found an X-Defend, and... No, I can't get through here. For God's sake. Right, let's, uh, move. Yeah, there we are. I think I've done enough in the dream yard. So, yeah, let's go and do... Not the Pokemon Center, that's the answer. Let's go and do this gym. Who's this guy? You see, you look swaggy. Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate we appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. A fresh water. Fresh water. The resource 50 HP, I believe. Uh, so this is what's super effective? Yeah, it's what's super effective. Okay, that makes things a whole lot easier then. Because I do know Pokemon types. So that's cool. Welcome to Straight on Gym. Care for a taste of battle, I'll serve up the first course. This gym got killed off in Pokemon White 2 and Black 2, and I got so annoyed because the nostalgia, because this is a bit of nostalgia, this is the first Pokemon game I ever played, ever, and I loved it so much. And I did new logic because I used, I used an Ember, and I used that Pokemon only. All the other Pokemon I ever had were never used. Actually, Apart from Dino, I got the right nature Dino, I got a mild nature Dino, and then I leveled that up to level 64 before I'd faced the Elite Four, and then I realized that I cocked it up and I couldn't win without using extensive amounts of types. So, yeah, wow, you're training with a lot of pepper. I don't like pepper. Next one, as we know, grass. Too effective because in the dream yard they said grass type does not do well against fire type so it does well against water type obviously and it does normality well i say normality it's 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 so tight trainer deluxe it's second course uh, that's all i saw before i pressed a uh yeah you are challenged by waitress tia okay waitress tia sent out a pat rat Yeah, same tactics. Low kick, low kick, low kick. Goodbye, see you next year. Not next year because you're dead. Not next episode either. Well, not from that trainer's perspective anyway. But oh, keep battling. Waitress here sent out Purloin. Ugh. Ugh. Die. Yeah. This gym is going to be quite easy at this rate. And I'm probably going to jinx that now, I just realised. One of the things <clears throat> I do regret is that this Pokemon here that I'm using, Scraggy, evolves at level 37 or level 39, I believe. So, it's not great. It's not great for 
beginning game, is it? Welcome to the straight and safe Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I light things up with fire-type Pokemon. And I'm a water-type specialist, and my name is Cress. <coughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is... Silan. Yeah, Silan. And I like grass-type Pokemon. They have swaggy dance moves. That one on the left looks like a red version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Knuckles, basically. Um, you see... As for why the three of us is, well, uh... Oh, enough. Listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on the type of Pokemon you chose. The first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you first chose was Grass-type, it seems. Well, dark and fighting, actually, but... I digress. Ta-da! The Fire-type Scorcher Chili! That me will be your opponent. Okay. Let's just go straight in. Time to play with FIRE! I'm the strongest of us brothers. Are you now? At least you're not an emo like the one on the right, and at least you're not dumb and thick like the one on the left. Anyway, challenged by leader Chili. Chili sent out Lillipop. Oh, great. Don't tie things. Yeah. What I've learned in this case is don't use low kick. Use faint attack because it's stab is 90 overall damage. And at this point, yeah. It's gonna use work up. Attacking special attack up, I believe. If I can remember correctly. Yeah, there we are. Sick. As if that would work on my Pokemon. Huh, <laughs> this'll work. Good die. If you guys just heard that, yes, I did say good die. So quite appropriate in this scenario. Let's find out how much attack I got. Oh my days, that is a bit of attack. Pansier, will you switch your Pokemon? Let's switch. Let's test out this Talibanta. Go on, Talibanta! Shoot down your opponents with bullets. In this case, water, though. <coughs> I'm getting a cough. That's not good. It's not over yet. One more left. This is where I give it my all. Do you now? Water gun. Incinerate. Oh, yeah, this um, burns up berries. If your Pokemon holds berries. And now we do super effective on the uh, Panse over here. Incinerate again. He's, not, he's just using generic moves now. It does quite a bit of damage, though. Well, it did in that case because it was a critical hit, but... Oh, well, super effective, and it was a critical hit. So that is the end of the first gym. Which is very nice for me because then I actually get somewhere. There we are. Not great stats. I mean, speed's good. I mean, I won't use Panpour. I don't like using the three monkey Pokemon in this case. I am burned out. I mean, there's fire type, water type, grass type. I mean, they're fast, but they don't have the stats I like. Whoa, you're on fire! Well, it's the Pokemon League's rules. Take this gym badge. We have broken the duck to our first gym badge of the Let's Play. See, space received a trio badge from Chili. Gym badges are a proof of a trainer's ability. If you have one badge Pokemon, including including traded Pokemon up to level 20, we'll obey you without question. We also want you to have this. Sea Space attained a TM83 work up. Sea Space put the TM83 in the TMs and HMs case. TM83 contains work up. If you if you use work up, the Pokemon's attack and special attack go up. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. Sick. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're out of the gym now. So, yeah, here we are. Hey, I'm Fennel. Oh, this is the person Professor Juniper talked about. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please, follow me. Mm -hmm. You're going to meet all of the Pokemon in the Nova region, am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. I was wondering who those people were. My room is upstairs here. Come on, go upstairs. I've got no choice. I'm not pressing anything, apart from A. So, like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Pokemon, uh, Professor, Pokemon Juniper. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. So, I'll give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. We get HM01 cut. <laughs> there are some moves that a Pokemon can... I've got to read it. With this hidden machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move called cut. It can cut down a small tree. What about big trees? What if there's a big tree in the way and I want to go and explore? Just leave the Unova region. Don't want to go to a world where there's justice. 
Oh, well, it doesn't matter. And you can use the hidden machine as many times as you want, like a TM. Because in all the games, when you got a TM, you can only use it once. And then that'd be it. Right, that's annoying. Now they fix that, though, and that's good. But it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget one, forget a hidden move once it learns it. And I'd like to ask you a favour, too. There's a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Straighten City. I'd like some of the Dream Mist that a Pokemon there called Muna, Muna gets off. With that, I'll be able to use GameSync to collect save files of various trainers. Okay, guys, so I'm on the TM screen now. Let's just teach this to Panpour because he's gonna be in. He's gonna be an HM abuser. Talibanta wants to learn the move Cut. However, Panpour already knows four moves, so on, so on, so on. Re replace with Cut. Yes. What move should be forgotten? Leah. Nobody likes Leah. Ta-da! Forgot to use like, Leah and learn Cut. Yeah. This tree looks like it can cut down. Would you like to cut it? He used cut. Nice. Ooh. Hi, Bianca. I see space. Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon too? What the hell? Hey, did you hear sound coming off the other side of that wall? Come on, let's go see. Not today, though, guys, because I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, because I beat the gym, I beat the first gym, finally, then leave a like. Also remember to subscribe if you want to stay updated on future videos. In the next episode, we will go and find this Muna Pokemon and explore what Pokemon are uh, in the Dream Yard. So yeah, again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.